What is going on guys? I'm here to bring you another video recommendation, actually a video series recommendation. And uh, this time it's not really software engineering, it's networking engineering. So you guys, network engineer out there that is moving from network engineering to software engineer or vice versa will really benefit from this series. Uh, uh, I think the, pers the person who uh, make this series are called uh, is called uh, Chris Greer, I believe, and he has really some high quality content. So I uh, I'm gonna put up uh, his uh, playlist right here. So go ahead and check it out. I think uh, it's really good content, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I reached out on his content. And guys, and and I'm gonna also talk about when backend engineer or software engineers really need to know go to that low level of networking what happened to the TCP packets and all of that stuff and I'm gonna explain why I end up on that um, road all right so I was um, researching traffic proxy okay and in order to make a video and and that video is gonna take me a long time of research and I, I barely have any time so whatever the few hours I have I I split them between research, making new content, and just reading, reading, reading more stuff, right? So I rarely have time these days, especially with work, that my nine to five is just, there. we have a lot, of, we have a conference coming and uh, I have a side project, I, I'm reviewing a book, uh, I can't disclose it right now, but it's just uh, reviewing a book for uh, a publisher, so uh, yeah, so a lot is going on. So I'm reviewing this uh, traffic, uh, researching this traffic proxy, and I end up with a, I got stuck on the timeouts, right? And some of you might have been following this train of thought, my train of thought, as I was thinking about the timeouts really hard. And I, uh, that made me ask more questions like, wait a second, why am I jumping about this? I made videos about Nginx and HA Proxy, and I did talk about timeouts. Let me go back to those. So I went back to Nginx, and I talked about the timeouts, and I made a video about the timeouts, and I end up, after making the video, I, I end up more confused before making the videos. And you wanna get into that state. If you're confused after learning something, that means you're onto something, uh, and, and you're getting near to something. And, and you're challenging your knowledge and intellect. And you wanna get into that state where, oh, you're more confused than you were before. That, that doesn't mean that you're, that's not necessarily a bad thing, that you wanna get into that state. And, and that means that you're kind of pushing the limit to what your power of knowledge is. I don't know if anybody of you watches anime, I'm watching My Hero Academia, and that's just the quirk of the power, it's just you're pushing it to the next level, right? And that's the same thing with knowledge. Anyway, so timeout, reaching the timeout, and one of the timeout, the stinking timeout called lingering timeout. Okay, and guys, I am not a Linux expert, and I'm not a network engineer as well. I'm a backend engineer, and I play a little bit of that area, the edge level, right? So when that timeout came into picture, I found it very, very difficult to actually explain because I do not know how TCP work under the hood. I know how TLS works and the application level, I know the HTTP level, but I never dove, dive, dive, dive deep into the TCP handshake. So you know what, it's like, you know, and in order to understand that, I need to understand what time weight is and, and what close weight is and all that stuff. So I started reading, reading, reading about the three-way handshake in TCP. And I, I, if you know me and you know this channel, guys, I refused to go to that level because I never found a use case where I actually need to go to that deep level of networking. Okay, I always play at that application level, kind of closer to... TCP ports and IPs and that's it. I don't care how the headers look like and I don't care how this stuff look, but this is a use case where I actually, I beca I'll become ignorant if I don't go to that level. And that led me to Chris Greer's uh, topic of a uh, uh, three-way handshake. And he was explaining it really, really well compared to all the videos and all the other stuff, right? So that's the best content I found. I'm gonna link up the uh, the, really the TCP stack. He talked about everything TCP. But here's the, the gotcha, guys. 
He's not an application developer. He's not a developer. So you got to take whatever he says with a grain of salt. Because as a software engineer, you will find what he says confusing because he talks at a very, very, very low level. He talks about packets and frames, right? He, he doesn't really care about the high level HTTP. So yeah, HTTP can be anything. It's data. To him, it's just data, right? IP and port, I'm going to send data. He doesn't care about TLS. He doesn't talk about all that stuff, right? That's where we need to take it with a grain of salt and really understand this and just go to that low level. And when you really understand what happened, assume your post request or your HTTP GET request will eventually turn into a bunch of data and bytes. And that's with that assumption, now go watch that videos. That's the data that he's talking about. And, and he explained why you get connection resets and why you get uh, acknowledgement and why you need acknowledgement. Obviously, guys, you know me. When I understand something really well, I'm going to make a video about it. And the three-way TCP handshake video is going to be coming soon. I'm going to take the this week off because I'm just exhausted. I don't know why, man. This weekend, I told, I, I rested a weekend and I had my cousin, we had my cousin coming to my house and then we kind of relaxed with the kids and all that stuff. But I'm just exhausted now. Just like after a week of publishing videos and making content, so I'm just, I need to just wind down and just relax a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna make that video, the T3 way handshake and it's gonna be a top down kind of a video where I'm gonna explain about the Git request and post request and start from there and then walk my way down to the actual low level of what happened to this sequencing and sync. And uh, you know, guys, you and I know that I never ask what is sync and what is sequence, right? And it's why does it exist? So these sequencing, the acts, they are there for a reason. And even Chris doesn't really explain that, to be honest. And that's, that's okay because not everyone is, is can explain everything, right, at that level. But I always challenge as why does this sequences exist, right? He does explain it in one video, it's like it's just like a glimpse of it, it was like a for ordering of the packets. But I wanna take it to the next level, I wanna explain that. But regardless, his content is spot on, his content is really, really good, so I, just take that in mind because if you're a front end engineer or if you're a back end engineer, then you might can quickly go to that level, then low level networking. But if you're a front end engineer going to the back end for the first time, and then you're watching that content, it's not going to make any sense to you, to be honest, right? And uh, so keep an open mind and uh, just watch the playlist. I think it's a great content. So I'm going to keep. Uh, uh, promoting other people's that I found really, really good content and making, uh, I'm gonna share them. Like uh, the Carnegie Mellon guys, you love those database courses because that's really, really good content. And I don't recommend other people content unless I absolutely sure that that particular content is really well, well written and well, uh, well designed and well crafted. And Chris Greer has this in him and I, I want you just to go there with an open mind as a software engineer, as a back engineer, as a front end engineer, and just look at the data and look at the network level at that level and why does all of that stuff exist. All right guys, again, no videos this week. I'm just, I'm gonna just relax and uh, maybe I'll upload a video, but as of now, this is the last video I make this week. Maybe that will change. I don't know. I'm going to well, wake up uh, relaxed tomorrow, like at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to make a video, but I don't know. I'm just slammed with work and other side projects. So excuse me, guys. I am really apologize. But meanwhile, check out the playlist on my channel. Just go to my channel playlist. There are, I broke my playlist into finer and finer and finer grained of uh, playlist where I talk about uh, kind of networking engineer. I had like previously, I had like a course level engineer, course with C O A R S E, course that means like bigger playlist, like software engineer, architecture, uh, software engineering, or I don't know, security. Now I'm breaking them level by HTTP2 playlist and Postgres database playlist and quick 
or HTTP3 playlist and HTTP1 playlist and I have uh, other other stuff. Check it out, guys. I, I talk about other playlists. So check the playlist. Enjoy the content, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Not sure when, but keep on coming, guys. Thank you so much for all the beautiful comments, all the questions. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of break. Maybe five, six days. I'm going to see you next week, maybe. Stay awesome, guys. Goodbye.